I had no idea it was this bad. Late yesterday. Be in therapy. Literal autism. Therapist sits me down and listens to my video story. Late 20s, but still hot. She says, I want to try something new today. Hard goes a million miles an hour. Therapist makes me diamonds. Autism brain thinks this is the day. Uh, okay? This is a behavioural contract. Hands me a piece of paper with stickers. Fucking stickers! Literal good boy points with a different name! I start to tear up. Heart's still racing, so my calm is fucked. Fucking get out of the room to the bathroom and actually cry. Anon? What's wrong? Fuck. She knew. Tell her I didn't think I was so far gone. Show her green text from 4chan. Tell her these are jokes. Anon, those aren't jokes. I see these things all the time. Try to laugh. Cluck cluck autism darting out. It's called stereotypy, Anon. I stare, hearing her voice go sympathetic. Fuck your gif. Do you know how I like to roll your shoulders when you talk about your game or watch your YouTube videos? What? It's just stereotypy. Repetitive and less restrictive behaviours that need to be worked on. I start crying again. I didn't even know my shoulders did anything. I just thought I was talking about Vidya and getting social help. Look back at the contract. Goal 1. Hygiene. Be me about two years ago. Have edited 10 GF of two years. Unemployed, but happy. Good relationship, very open and caring. Dates usually consist of authentic ramen and cuddling while playing shitty RPGs. Overall, great relationship. Best one I've ever had. One day, she breaks up with me out of nowhere. She says she's not ready for a relationship, even though I've been official for a long time. What the fuck? But Anon, I want to still be friends. I can't imagine a life without you. Blah blah. Has a fucking autistic moment and believes her. Find out a month later, she's dating some fucking Jan. Heartbreak, but whatever. Find out she got dumped like three months later. The mile. Fast forward to today. Finally started uni. Doing pretty good so far. Ran a Facebook message while on train on the way to class. It's from her. Oh hey Anon, I heard you started uni recently. Leaves her on red. What the fuck do I do? This bitch broke my heart and is so clearly using me as a rebound. But I'm so fucking touch starved. Shut in neat. Barely ever go outside, except for night walks. Out for one of my rare night walks. Coming toward the end of the road. See a dark thing in the road. It's right in the middle of a wide road. It's shuffling very slowly. Get closer to it. What the fuck? It's a hedgehog. It freezes up when I get close. Realize it's very likely that it could be killed by a car at the pace it's moving and how far it has to go still to the other side. Take off my jumper. Pick up the hedgehog with my jumper. Run quickly to the side of the road it was trying to get to. Put it down slowly and it scurries off into the bushes and woods. Five seconds later, two cars come down the road within ten seconds of each other. Feel like I saved his life. This is the highlight of all my night walks. Be me. Get a holiday job at a steel mill. Watch a Simpsons episode with the gay steel mill. Be by, so looking forward to getting fucked there. My first day in the steel mill. No gays there. Just a bunch of drunk people buzzing me around and telling me to do the shittiest and hardest work of them. The girls in the office look ugly as fuck too. Those bastards lied to me. Be me. Smoke a joint with old friend I hadn't seen in years. After we finish, he eats a roach. What the fuck? He explains to me that it gets you 10 times higher. My first thing I remember that 12 years ago, I told him that fact is a joke. My first thing has been eating roaches for 12 years. Be teacher's assistant. Have a Stacy in class. One of those girls who are pretty and know it. Was warned by a friend that she tries to manipulate her male TAs into giving her good grades. Never respond to her advances or flirted. Just did my job helping her and others. One day, she asked me if I'm gay or a virgin. Laugh and tell her no. Some women are just so used to men coming onto them that they can't fathom why a non-virgin would want to drop everything and make a pass at them. How do I find out my starseed origins? Check under your foreskin for a greenish hue. Be at a party. Cousin invited me. All her friends. They smile at me and be polite. Get bored. Decide I want to go home. I tell them bye bye. Go to front door. Put my shoes on. Open door. Owie, my tummy. I need to go to the toilet first. Close the door again. Hear a girl say, thank god he is finally gone. The others laugh and agree. Me, freeze up to avoid making more sound. Open door quietly. Close slowly. Put myself on the walk home. 
Feels bad, ma'am. Prove myself on the walk home. You deserved that. Why didn't you just shit through the letterbox? My face when I realized all the Spider-Man's enemies are modeled after a spider's natural predators. How is an octopus a natural predator for spiders? Rhino, alien symbiote, electricity, etc. Seems legit. Ah yes, the greatest of the natural predators. The goblin. Be me. At work. Work next to a place with a lot of Mexicans. Most don't speak English. Have to fart. Q2314 Latina chick walking right by. Think? She doesn't speak English, so she wouldn't stand my fart. Fart very loud. She looks at me in disgust. My first thing I realize how fucking autistic I am. Go to see a real, actual medium. Ask to contact my spiritual guides. Medium manages to enter the communication with them. Apparently they're laughing their ass off at me. They're literally telling me to get a job. Rare insults thread. I'll start first. Be in sixth grade. Get 2% on the test. Nickname Milk for the rest of the school year. Start meeting a new girl. Things are going alright, flirting together. Designed to present her to my friends. The next day, she is talking to me about one of my friends. He is really nice. I think my mind is really connected into him. I guess this is why some people develop jealousy. Be me. 19th birthday. Little brother gets me a huge smart lamp. Can now set lighting to my current autistic mood. Feel pink comfy. Just got a job. 20 year old autist. Working drive through at McDonald's. I'll have two chicken sandwiches, one with no tomato. Which one do you not want tomato on? Some brief silence and a muffled sound. Either one, man. Messed up the change too. Full grown adult. Uses a Harry Potter reference in a conversation. Be me. Come Scout's camping trip. It's getting dark. Scoutmaster tells us to get wooden shit for a bonfire. Go about two feet away from the camp. See the perfect stick. Grab it. It's a rattlesnake tail. Too retarded to run away. Bring it over to my head and swing it in circles. The snake can't come back and bite me. Shout for help. Everyone comes. Sees me using a snake like a lasso. Kids laughing, adults shitting pants. Tell me to hit the snake against a tree as hard as I can. Hope it breaks its neck. Whip its head at mark speed into the biggest tree I could find. Head explodes. Adults don't know whether to congratulate or punish me. Other kids think I'm hardcore. My face when my nickname was Snake Charmer from then on. Be me. Paranoid of school shooters. Watch documentary about Elliot Roger and wonder if they could happen at my school. Everybody is suspect. Having terrifying nightmares about being gunned down at school. Always first to die because I'm the slowest one in my class. Seek therapy. Therapist tells me to deal with it. Takes my therapist's advice. One day, when dad isn't home, I go into his closet and take out his Bursa model 383. Hide it in my backpack on my way to school next day. Go behind the art building where all the school shooters hang out. Shoot, <laughs> shoot two of them while the other seven run away. Manage to reload and shoot another before they manage to shoot any more innocent people. Police show up and I tell them the direction of the other school shooters ran. My first friend they arrest me instead of thanking me for doing the job for them. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Goda.